welcome back to Beyond the Sprue with this week's new kid releases. I have a short video for you, followed by the question. What is the maximum speed of the Eurofighter Typhoon? Is it A. Mach 1.5 B. Mach 2 C. Mach 2.5 D. Mach 3 Answer, as always, at the end. Border models are making a Kirov airship and this is from the video games Command and Conquer and Red Alert 2. Uh, it's an interesting looking model in my view and comes with a diorama base. It's just um, basically click and assemble, pre-painted, no glue required, the propellers work and I thought it looked pretty awesome actually and uh, set in World War 3 which doesn't sound like it's too far away at the moment. Model 3D have announced a lot of new projects and these are in 135 and 172 scales. Tacom have released a silhouette of a new tool in, in 135 scale. Can you tell me what that is? Uh, leave a note in the comments if you know. Thank you. Thunder Models have announced a new LRDG CMP F30 truck coming in five different desert schemes a must for your desert diorama. All the camo schemes come with AK color callouts. Mini Art have announced a new SDK FZ234 Puma. This is coming in 135 scale. It's with full interior and they've released lots of tantalizing pictures to get us all excited and the quality looks very good. It comes with photo etch uh, full engine detail, looking like an awesome build. Hobby Boss have announced a new tool for a 148 scale German Panzer self propelled gun, affectionately known as the Dicky Max. Blitz models are bringing out in 135 scale a Latil TAR Karasui. This is coming out as a 3d printed kit so you will need slightly different skills and know what to do with resin parts ibg are making an m11 stroke 39 italian tank in 172 scale also in 172 scale ace models bringing out a refueler truck uh circa 1939 and this will be good in small dioramas Trump Tower have released some images of their upcoming releases for April and May uh, featuring 135 and 172 subjects, uh, modern armour, tactical vehicles and also a civilian fire truck. Sperno have announced a 1 in 700 kit of the LHD 33 plan Amphibious Assault Ship and Huey. ICM are making 135 scale tank crews of the armed forces of Ukraine. And staying with the figures, Mironios have released details of their new Greek special forces in Africa during World War II. It comes with five new figures for this unit and looking to have some really good detail on there. And Black Dog are making a couple of motorcycle figures also in 135 scale. Answer models I've released two 172 scale Falcon helicopters and it's possible to make these in the W3 and W3A versions uh, Polish police and the 103rd Air Regiment of the Trans Vistula Military Unit and Answer Plastic Kits are also taking pre-orders for the three editions of their 172 scale CASA 295M transporter uh, I've got to admit, I have actually stuck up pre-ordering on the Polish Air Force marking. And I'm about to find out if my wife does actually watch these videos or not. Armoury Models have announced their very first plastic model kit in 172 scale. It's a MiG-3 late production of bloody 1941. It's coming with a huge amount of camouflage options and looks to be very good made in Ukraine. X-scale models 
are releasing a Douglas DC-853 in 144 scale and coming with KLM markings. It has 136 parts on 10 sprues, instructions, decal, stencil, masks, but glue and paint are not included. In 144 scale Welsh models, .co.uk are now releasing a Vickers Wellington 1C with New Zealand Air Force and Royal Air Force schemes. It's a resin kit with metal undercarriage, props and clear perspex canopies and is available right now. And Airfix have released some completed models for their 172 scale consolidated B24H Liberator. This model coming in two different schemes and the images are exciting and look really good and I do happen to have one of these on pre-order as well so I'm gonna have a busy year in front of me I think just before I give the answer to the question I would like to say a big thank you for everybody who subscribed and liked the video so far if you haven't please subscribe and drop us a like so what was the maximum speed of the UFI said typhoon if you said B Mac 2, you would have been correct. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.